Okay, so what I'm going to do now is indicate or indicate I'll show you guys how to drain the supercharger oil. Uh, you want to have a pan, oil pan to uh, drip it into a container uh, as you do it. One thing to keep in mind, it's going to stink really bad from what I hear. This is my first time doing all this, so bear with me as I go along. But you want to get a can of Mobile One jet oil, uh, synthetic jet engine oil. This is one U.S. quart, 946 milliliters. I paid $27, 27 bucks for this jug here. Once you pop it open, it's kind of old school style, I guess. That's it. So you might want to get a container and hold it in. This is good. It says used by June 6, 2024. Uh, it was produced, uh, I guess, 06 June 2014. This was created. So a 10-year shelf life if you don't use it. Or if it's in a container. Just keep that in mind. Alright, so. Yeah, um. Let's see. Part number is. I don't know if you can see it there. 08-00763. Mobile jet oil number two. Jet oil number two. Yeah. Alright, so. I shall use this tape roll of Gorilla Tape, Tough Tape, to prop, flip this over, flip the supercharger over, set it on top of here so I don't scratch up or mess up any of these flush surfaces with anything, any of the grit on my table, workbench, and drain it. You want to try and do this on a level um, table if you can. If not, it's okay. if it's not level, that's fine for the draining. You can even literally turn it upside down so it's uh, upright, I'm sorry, upright, so it drains out of the little Allen wrench here hole. But keep in mind, when you put the new oil in, it's 150 milliliters worth is what you squirt into there. So if this was on the motor, or if this was on a perfectly flat and level surface, if you're using a, I'm going to use a syringe, they tell you to use a syringe. But as you use a syringe to um, inject the oil in, Either use if there's numbers on the syringe, 150 milliliters total will go into there. Or if there are no numbers on the syringe as it's installed on the vehicle on, or, or on a perfectly level surface, you want to inject the oil until it literally drips out. Once it starts to drip out, stop. When it's on a flush surface or it's mounted to an engine and the vehicle is on a level surface, that's right at the money point for where you need to fill it up to when it's upright. Not on the bench like this upside down. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this started here. Ugh. Man, all right. Come on. All right. Let's see if this will work. Yeah, let's do it this way. <clears throat> okay. Let me back on. Okay, now, where's our drip hole? Our drip hole is on this side, so I'm going to slide this forward just a tad bit, okay, uh, I don't want to do this, I'll do it like so, so I can get all of it leaning forward and out, okay, I'm going to use a piece, a block of wood to prop on here, change of plan slightly, okay, put you here, you to block the drip area okay and then put the duct tape roll which is taller at the back side kind of prop it up okay so it doesn't quite look like it but hold on yeah let's do that and let me get one more block of wood. Bear with me. Sorry, guys. Okay. So now, a block of wood and roll of tape on the black back and a block of wood up front. 
and I want my drip hole, which is on this side, to be over, the drip hole, drain hole to be over um, the edge here. So I'll kind of show it as I do this. I literally may just put this upright, but I'm doing this to indicate methods on how to drain this. So I don't know if you can see it. Let's lower this down a little bit. There we go. So, this right here, if we can focus, is the Allen, Allen uh, screw to remove, to drain the fluid. Okay, so what I'm going to do is find the right size. More than likely it's going to be metric as this is a European, not American, vehicle. So now I'm going to try a four. Four millimeters, five millimeters. I think it said it's five. Yeah, five. It's a five millimeter um, hex key or Allen wrench to remove it. Should be, no, I'm sorry. Not a five. It's a four point five. A four point five. There we go. So I'm gonna take this and back it out in a bit. I'm also gonna prepare and prepare and put the oil drain uh, pan bucket, whatever you want to call it, container underneath to catch this oil that's gonna come out. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, and I will set up and show you. Okay, I want to start by saying for those watching it at home, yes, it does smell like a barn. The uh, old oil does reek. I kind of dripped and splattered out. There's not too much. Comes out very dark brown. Black almost. brown, Dark brown black. Uh, but yeah, I got the, the Allen Hex socket can you see that off i don't know if you can see it but yeah got it off 4.5 millimeter what i actually ended up doing yeah i loosened it it came out make sure it doesn't fall to the bottom of your oil container or bucket be ready or prepared to kind of catch it this will be a slow trickle drip but it's most important you don't lose that hex key you can find them online and i have seen uh, one guy selling them on a message board, maybe to the tune of t 10 to 12 bucks a pop. I'm sure they're pretty standard. It's just you got to find the size that would fit. Keep in mind the supercharger by itself weighs about 75 pounds or so, 80 pounds. It's a heavy monster. So if you need to put this in, a, if you lose that hex, a little hex socket, you may have to put it in a shopping cart and visit Home Depot or Lowe's and trying to find the size that'll fit. Once again, the wrench is a 4.5 millimeter. Um, took it out. It started to trickle. wasn't fast enough, so here's what I did. Let me see if you guys can get that in the shot. Came over like so. There was wood underneath, and I um, lifted it up like this. As you see, there's still a little more to try and get it out, all of it out. I think that's all of it. Keep in mind this sucker is about, seven, like I said, 75, 80 pounds. It's not generally a light uh, weight item. So, and even removing it from the vehicle, I had to do it by myself. Taking it out of the vehicle and lifting it, please, if you can, get a second or third hand to help you. Because um, it can drop with me do, lifting it up about two or three times, trying to get it out and thinking everything's free. And there's another connector on it. I lift up. It goes back down on the, the engine and kind of slam down. So two or three times that happened to me, if you can, have a second or a third hand to help you to avoid it. There's also on the back end here, it, when, it, um, when it's installed on the car, there's on the back end here a little loop, metal loop flange. You can, If you have a hoist, you can hook onto that and kind of jack up. It's not on here because I took the bolt out. I don't know if you can see it where I'm putting my finger, but over here, over here in this region it would be there that way if you have a hoist it can at least help you, you can kind of jack it up 
lift up here hey there's still a connector connected okay let me go and connect this connector you can try two or three times to make sure all connectors hose fitting lines are all taken off and accounted for so you can lift this thing out of the vehicle and slide it out of the way so there we go got the oil out now I'm about to get my syringe here how's uh, it on cam yeah you can kind of see better yet let's see it might be better I don't know if you can see it clearly but yeah there's a it's listed here as far as milliliters so I got 60 milliliters at the end here and ounces milliliters on the right side ounces on the left side goes up to two ounces um, you can find these at farm supply stores where they anything with regards to farm Google, I typed it in Google downtown LA I found a farm supply store store surprisingly um, but this was two dollars and ninety five cents brand new yeah that's they're the guys who usually carry them if you walk into a harbor freight tools or a cvs I, nobody carries these anymore so yeah just to give you some insight all right and you also my my advice considering how long this uh, tube is, I'm probably going to trim it now nah, because I use it for a other another deal here. But um, if you can, keep in, take into account when you're vacuuming up to, let's say, 60 milliliters. If there's air or if there's any oil in here, factor that in. Keep that in mind. You know, If you need to add more to compensate, fill this up with the oil before you begin and then get fill this chamber up the syringe up with oil but take into account that there's extra volume of oil or air that would be in here all right so i'm going to go ahead and figure out how i'm going to go about attacking that i don't know if you guys caught that on camera because i was zoomed in yeah there's extra air in the syringe uh tube yeah i'm going to do that and then show you how i'm going to put it in all right okay so i have an entry point for my mobile jet oil so now I'm going to use the syringe here and uh, extract as much jet oil as I can jet oil number two synthetic jet oil for mobile fill up this whole tube once I get to the point where I fill up this tube actually let's see if it works okay good once I get to the point where this whole tube is filled up I'll take this off hold it and then try and uh, I'll push this back in to start over again so that I can fill this reservoir completely with oil kind of that's what I'm hoping will how it will pan out like that so let's see if it actually actually works and if you look closely I don't know if the camera's getting it it is nice and uh, nice amber color to it not the blackish brownish color that of the oil that I pulled out okay let's see will it see yeah uh, so there's air there's a bit of air in here inside the syringe so I'm gonna try and you know what I'll do yeah okay so as I pull out the oil I get it to where I want it I'm gonna get rid of that air gap by how do I want to do this how do I want to do this okay yeah I'll do it as I told you guys okay let's push this back down push it back down get it to just right and then I got air bubbles in it it back okay we're good all right so I got it stopped there I'm gonna go ahead stop right here I'm gonna go ahead and get all the air out of this guy ah, gosh darn it there we go okay now much better less air good so I'm gonna get the line of this oil up to the 60 milliliters like so yeah gently I hope it's coming in focus I'm trying to do two things at once here 
let me adjust the camera angle and get the light on it much better sorry guys okay so aiming for the 60 upside down 60 right here okay come on and it's at 40 45 the oil levels at 55 and it's at 60 milliliters inside this tube there's more within the hose so now that I have 60 milliliters in here I'm going to move the camera back pan out so you can see oh, that's about right so you can see what I'm going to do so I'm winging it right now uh, let's keep this lower so that it doesn't uh, give me an issue okay capped it so I have it capped. I'm holding it like so. Now what I'm going to do is lower, gently lower the camera. Ugh. Doing this with one hand, guys. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Lower, lower, lower so you guys can see the injection port. And I'm going to inject it into... I know it's dark, but, all right, you know what, screw it, let's do this. Slide, the, slide it on the wood, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. see it better from here uh, there we go yeah you can see it better and that is where I'm trying to go so that's this guy right here so I'm going to back out so you can see more of the action. Alright, so keep this at a low point so it doesn't spray out good. We got it in there. So now I'm going to it's at 60 insert or inject my 60 milliliters or in the tube, yeah. Worth of ah shit <laughs> crap it came back out all right so I know <laughs> I got from 60 to about 30 <laughs> 32 and a half okay yeah so what I'm gonna do now is put the remaining 32 and a half back in there hold on okay and I'll hold it while I do this one-handed. There we go. Alright, inject all of it. And we're good. Cool. So, that may be, who knows, 55 out of the 60 milliliters that got in there. I'm going to insert this back in here and get another 60 out of here, out of the uh, of milliliters worth of oil. And got it back in the tube. Alright. Come on, come on, come on. Sorry about the odd camera angles and production. My back is killing me. And this is a one-man show. So I'm doing all I can do. So now that I have everywhere I want to have it, I'm going to take this tube uh, in syringe worth of oil and always keep it at a lower level lower level than the can lower height than the can that way um, if this was up and I pulled this out it would spray everywhere because it's gonna drip it's gonna drip down and through here and on the ground so I want to keep this guy lower than the can okay see I'm able to do this like so and it's not dripping anywhere all right so we'll stick you in like yay like so 
let's hope we don't have another faux pas. Alright, so Okay, so we're gonna we're at 60. We're gonna inject again. I guess there is an air bubble, but the air bubble is not going all the way through the tube. There's still a lot of oil in the tube. So we should be at 120 or at the worst 115 milliliters within the uh, supercharger of jet oil. So what I'm going to do now, take this guy, lower uh, height than the hose. Now I can pull the hose out and it will not spray everywhere. There's still oil inside. And do the same thing over again. Now this time, remember we need one, we need 150 milliliters. We put 115, or let's call it 115, 120, call it 120 in there. All right, so now we need an additional 30 milliliters. So I'm going to fill this guy up. I'm going to go a little bit past um, what's required, the 30. Get a little bit more. I'm doing it to 140. I'm not going to inject all of the 140. I'm probably going to do 135. Because when it came out, a drip or two might have splashed. But 150 milliliters is all you need when uh, filling up, refilling the supercharger. There we go. Uh, jet oil, the supercharger oil. Get in there. Okay. Okay, I'll just hold it like so, I guess. That will work. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're at 40 milliliters. I'm going to take it down to about 5. Okay, and we are good. Uh, let's make it 6 or 7. Can't hurt. All right, lower this guy to a lower highs. Take this out, insert back in because it's good oil, and inject. So I've cleaned out, there's nothing inside the syringe, and I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to, if I can do this without, I'm going to raise this up to a higher height and uh, actually, let's do this, yeah, I'm going to just do that and let it drip out. Let the oil drip back in because it's good. 27 bucks a, a quart. It's not cheap. <laughs> but yeah. Alright. Now yeah. I'm going to suck up some air in the syringe. Stick it back in here. And there we go. E eject or inject the air push out whatever's remaining back into the can. I'll find a container later to store this expensive oil. Alright, so we're good there. So now I'm going to go ahead and take that Allen screw, screw it back in, and we're good as far as the uh, changing of the supercharger oil. Mercedes says, oh, you don't never have to change it. It will last a lifetime. But, um, uh, yeah, that's their thoughts on it. But my thoughts on it, after reading online and doing research, uh, and especially after taking the old oil out and having it smell like the back of a, <laughs> a barnyard, whereas the new oil was very clear amber and did not smell anything whatsoever like that. Yeah, I think it's time to change it out, so... Alright, so that's how you that's how you change your supercharger oil. Alright. And I'm gonna go ahead, yeah, just for poops and giggles, show me installing this Allen screw back in. Start it by hand. Once you get it by hand, then you can use the Allen wrench. Good, there we go. Do as much as you can by hand, then resort to the wrench. Alright. And if you can, use, um, do I have some Loctite? 
not the, the, the Loctite that makes it impossible to remove, but the Loctite that makes it sit in there snug. So you won't have any issues. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, this is too loose. Let me see. And if you don't have Loctite... Okay, there we go. Now we're starting to hit some resistance. Good. That's what I want. I want the resistance. So, I'm done. Supercharger oil is changed. Now, we're going to continue with the rest of the project. Uh, a little bit later. It's supposed to be movie night with the missus, so I'm going to chill out. Alright, be back in a bit.